in this presentation you will get to know what is Montreal protocol all about let's start the Montreal protocol is an international environmental agreement that regulates the production and consumption of nearly 100 man-made chemicals referred to as ozone depleting substances ODS when these substances are released into the atmosphere they damage the stratospheric ozone layer the earth's protective shield that protects humans and the environment from harmful levels of ultraviolet radiation from the sun treaty signed the agreement was signed on 15th september 1987 in montreal canada and entered into force on 1st January 1989. Official Languages of the Treaty The official languages of the Montreal Protocol are Arabic, Chinese, English, French, Russian and Spanish. Ratifiers of this treaty The treaty has been ratified by all 197 United Nations members as well as the Holy Sea, New Island, and the Cook Islands. The Montreal Protocol is to date the only UN treaty ever that has been ratified by every country on the earth. Let's move on. Objectives of Montreal Protocol The Montreal Protocol phases down the consumption and production of the different ozone depleting substances in a stepwise manner with different timetables for developed and developing countries. Under this treaty, all parties have specific responsibilities related to the phase out of the different groups of ozone depleting substances, control of ozone depleting substances trade, annual reporting of data, national licensing systems to control ozone depleting substances, imports and exports, and other related matters. Developing and developed countries have equal but differentiated responsibilities, but most importantly, both groups of countries have binding, time-targeted, and measurable commitments. Let's move on. Multilateral Fund the multilateral fund for the implementation of the Montreal Protocol was established in 1991 under Article 10 of the treaty. The main objective of this fund is to provide financial and technical assistance to developing countries of this protocol whose annual per capita consumption and production of ozone depleting substances is less than 0.3 kg to comply with the control measures of the Montreal Protocol. Success achieved till date by the Montreal Protocol Due to the Montreal Protocol, the ozone layer is projected to recover by the middle of this century. Without this treaty, ozone depletion would have increased tenfold by 2050 compared to current levels. It has been estimated, for example, that the Montreal Protocol is saving an estimated 2 million people each year by 2030 from skin cancer. To date, the parties to the protocol have phased out 98% of ozone depleting substances globally compared to 1990 levels. Because most of these substances are potent greenhouse gases, the Montreal Protocol is also contributing significantly to the protection of global climate system. From 1990 to 2010, the treaty's control measures are estimated to have reduced greenhouse gas emissions by the equivalent to 135 gigatons of CO2. That's it for now. We will come back with a different topic. Till then, keep watching Narvi Academy.